Hey guys, it is time for a new week of vlogs and this week is starting off a little different. We're gonna start off the vlog in Washington, D.C. So originally I told you guys that I was going to have DC vlogs coming out separately, but then I got there and I just didn't feel like vlogging everything or narrating what I was doing all the time. And so pretty early on I decided I'm just gonna add this to the weekly vlog. So I did not vlog Friday when we got there, which is fine because that would have been in the previous weekly vlog anyway. So we're gonna kick off with Saturday. I haven't watched the footage yet, so I don't, I don't know how it all flows together. <laughs> So you might see me pop back in with some more narration if I feel like I need to explain what's going on But otherwise here was our weekend in DC and I will be back To present time a little later. So hello everyone today is a special vlog because we are in Washington DC visiting Jeff and Rick and my bestie Sarah and touring some tourist sites some historic sites some fun activities just having a really great time in Washington DC visiting our family and friends, so let's get to it. Starting the day with brunch. And these guys! <laughs> hey! So we're at Evening Star, and they got this cute little patio. Little tent. I love it. I'll show you where we came in at once we leave, but it looks super good, and we got some jams. <laughs> Well, once again, Jeff and Rick learned from previous times of hanging out with me and they ordered the same thing I did so they don't have to wait for me. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> He's oh, yeah. still doing it. So yeah, in the past, they've realized if they order the same thing as me, they don't have to wait. So sure enough, they got the same thing as me, which it's is salmon. Delicious. But now we're training. So 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 <laughs> they're still waiting anyway because... <laughs> <too much. laughs> so we got the salmon benedict. Mike got the corned beef hash, which looks amazing, and then we got some French toast for the table. This is where we ate, Evening Star, a little patio back there. It was great. Now onward. So for today's adventure, we are visiting George Washington's Mount Vernon, just outside of DC. This is where we're headed. Time to buy some tickets. This is basically a little visitor center where you start off and go take a tour. This is the 12 acre field. And there it is. George Washington's home. We're approaching Washington's tomb. Uh, although there are no longer any caskets back there. And I only know that because in 2019 preservation put a candle back there just kind of see what's going on. So that is actually George Washington and Martha Washington and their tombs right over there. It's actually where they're buried. Well, these are monuments to some of the nephews that ran Mount Vernon after his death. We are walking right on the Potomac. Well, now we're on the Potomac. <laughs> I said we were walking right along the Potomac. We have made it. And his house is back up that hill. Okay, we're back. Get in line for our house tour. Have food or candy or gum in your mouth at this time. Drop it into that tall barrel beside me. Many of you. We toured the house. Not allowed to film in the house, so I only took pictures. Here at the balcony of the house. Just a few chairs. Mike found the spot right in the shade. Clutch. 
Yeah, they had a terrible view from the back of their house. Pretty bad. Yeah, I could deal with this view, being my permanent view, just chill out here. I could get used to this. All right, so um, your next house? Yeah. And get it around the Tome, just like this. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know if that's in your budget, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Win the lottery, and then a house in the Potomac. Right here. I'll start today. Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> Greenhouse building. With some gardens. We're a little early. Some flowers are starting to bloom. It's trying. It's trying to be spring. Okay, we are in Old Town, down by the water. Sarah has joined us. And we're milling around a bit before we go to an escape room. <laughs> Very popular place on a Saturday night, clearly. Okay, we made a reservation for later. And now we're heading back up to our wizard escape room. All right, we've made it to the escape room. Some very fancy portraits here. Whoa, Scooter tried to take you out. <laughs> we successfully did our escape room. We escaped. We escaped, we solved the mystery. And now we're back here for our dinner reservation. Happy Sunday, everyone. We are at the Smithsonian's walking up from behind. So this is the Air and Space Museum, American Indian Museum, and then the Capitol Building. We are going to the American Indian Museum because the guys have never been. And it's one of my favorites. Cherry blossoms everywhere. There you go, there's the Capitol Building. I don't even think I saw these the last time I was here because I don't think I came on the side of the building. And here we are. We are inside. I'm very excited to show them this. So as you guys know, back in the day, it's gonna be blurry because I have my mask on, but back in the day, I went to grad school for museum studies and this is one of the museums we studied while I was in grad school because it's like the pinnacle of what museums should be because it's a very modern museum so very excited to show the guys one of my favorite museums
next up we have the International Spy Museum. Sarah has joined us once again. See the spy. Sort of down at the wharf. All the shrimps. All the fish. And on that side, all the cooked seafood. There you go. There's your view. Look at all of them. All the seafood. On the boba tea plane. Love it. Look at that. Cherry blossom milk tea here at the wharf. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, the Thai milk tea looks delicious. It's a new day and we're eating again. <laughs> the lunch menu we checked out of our hotel. We're having lunch with these guys. And then we leave later on. But lunch first. Starting off with the skillet cornbread. Looks delicious. Okay, so I got the chicken cob salad. It looks amazing. Yep, Mike's broke eating. Yep, he broke the rules. <laughs> It wasn't his, me. His I promise, Liz, it wasn't me. Please stop. His food wasn't even here. He went straight for Jeff's. <laughs> Rick got the fried chicken. Looks amazing. Also fried chicken. And then Mike was the oddball that got the brisket, right? Is that what you got? <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. And there's Mike's. It's a gigantic brisket and sausage sandwich. He corrected me. Looks really good. Sorry guys, there's music playing in the background because I'm the only one in the car right now. <laughs> But we are done with lunch. We just dropped off Rick, and now we're gonna go do one more museum before we get on the plane. And I'll talk to you more when we get home. But I obviously decided not to do full on DC vlogs. This is gonna be weekly vlog, and I'll explain that thought process when I get home. But one more museum to go. stop for this trip. What's this one actually called? What's its so official name? Bar Hazy uh, Space Center. There you go. So this is the second part of the Smithsonian's Air and Space Museum. So I've never been to this one. I've been to the one that's on the mall. But I have not been to this one. So we're up at the top of the observation tower. We're going to get to see where we're about to take off <laughs> later today. So that's Dulles right over there which is where we're flying out of so there's been planes landing so we'll probably see someone landing here pretty pretty soon smaller one So we've got about an hour before we need to be at the airport. So we're gonna try to cram in as much of the Space Center here as we can. There's a space shuttle here. There's a bunch of different planes. We're gonna try to see as much as we can in an hour. There's the hangar. So it's cool because it's just kind of open space.
Well, we're back home from DC and I am doing my planner to get the week going. It's Tuesday morning. My parents just left to go back home. So I did my stickers. I'm gonna plan out the week and then I'm going to Publix to get us some groceries and get us set up for food. So yeah, time to fill us out. Somebody is glad I'm home. <laughs> my sweet boy. He's very content. Mom is home. Resting peacefully. So hey guys, it is Tuesday. We are back from our trip. I definitely want to talk about that more probably tomorrow when I've had a chance to catch up on life. But I did want to pop in and say hello. Uh, it was great to sleep in our own bed with our own pillows last night. Although our hotel in DC was very nice. I don't think I showed it at all. The pillows are not our pillows. So I was very excited to be back to our own bed. And now I'm running to the grocery store to get the week going. I'm working today, working the rest of the week. Got to make up my time for missing yesterday. Mike's on a call, as you can probably hear. So I'm going to sign off and go to the grocery store. I found the Starlight Zero Sugar. So I'm pouring Mike and I some to have with our lunch. We'll see what we think. The Zero, I can get behind. Kind of tastes like a raspberry cream soda with cotton candy at the end. That's how I would describe it. The zero, I can support. So, yes, yes to the zero. Mike agrees, we like the zero. All right, Taco Tuesday. Easy peasy. Ready to go. Got some soft tacos for Mike. Should be yummy. So pretty. Hello, Mr. Cardinal. Hmm. So pretty. So, hey guys, happy Wednesday. Mo is vacuuming right now, but I am switching out the wallflowers, so I thought I'd show what I'm going to use. Did you really just come aiming right back? You were going the other way, Mo. I swear to goodness, he aims for me sometimes. He was going the other way and he just zoomed for me. Look at, he's going for Foster now. <laughs> Rude, Mo. What? All the way over there? He was just going under the table. Oh, she's coming back for me. Uh, the only one that doesn't need switching is my office. My office is a little staggered but I'm gonna do fresh sheets in our bedroom, which is a new fragrance. I'm gonna do, I'm going to do cinnamon spiced vanilla for the kitchen, eucalyptus rain in the hallway, and blue, midnight blue citrus in the guest bath. So that's gonna be our spring wallflowers. So hey guys, it is Wednesday. We are obviously back from DC. I vlogged a little bit yesterday, but not a lot because I was really jumping back into life at home and getting groceries and getting back into work and figuring out my work schedule and what I had to do this week and all of that stuff. So I didn't vlog much, but we had such a good time in DC. We arrived in DC very early on Friday morning. So we had to be up at 4.30. Our flight was at 7.30 and it was a very early morning. <laughs> We got to DC around 9.30 and Jeff came and picked us up. We went back to Jeff and Rick's condo. We hung out with them for a while. We ordered lunch in. They were both kind of still working because it was Friday. So we ordered lunch in and then Jeff, Mike and I went for a walk and kind of saw some of the sites around where they live. And then once it was time to check into our hotel, Mike and I went back to our hotel. Mike had a nice nap. I took a shower to try to wake up <laughs> because I'm not a napper. And then that evening they took us for drinks at one of their favorite places, which is called Captain Gregory's. And if you are ever in the DC area, I highly recommend Captain Gregory's. Those are my favorite cocktails I've ever had. And I love Strongwater Tavern. I loved Anvil in Houston. We've had some really great cocktail bars in my past, but I love, like I'm not much of a drinker. You guys know, we have like the massive alcohol cabinet <laughs> in there because Mike likes to craft cocktails every once in a while, but most of the time the liquor just sits there. 
I maybe have an alcoholic drink once a month. I'm just not a drinker, but I do love a really nice crafted cocktail from time to time. We had a blast. Our reservation was at like 6.15 and we were done by eight. We went and got uh, frozen custard at a place called Dairy Godmother, which A plus on the name. <laughs> But by 8.30, Mike and I were ready to pass out because we've been up so early. So we just went back to the hotel and passed out. So that was day one. You will have seen days two, three, and four in this vlog. So I don't think I have to explain too much about that, but it was good to see Sarah. It was fun to kind of tour around some of the historic sites and see some of the museums. And it was a fantastic time. So back home, back into the normal swing of things now. Just catching up on work. I'm caught up on sleep now. I feel rested after last night. It felt really good to be back home in our own pillows and our own bed. And the dogs were very happy to see us. They were so chill yesterday. Incredibly chill. I think they were so tired from the weekend, either from grandma <laughs> having them outside all the time or they just get a little stressed with us being gone. They literally slept all day did not bother me at all until it was dinner time it was amazing but today colby's back into his normal spirits colby and foster are both laying on the floor next to me right now but we've been out a few times and they've had plenty of playtime today so so that was our trip we had a great time it was so good to see jeff rick and sarah kind of see them in their element and i'm sure we'll go back again uh we've been wanting to go for a while and then pandemic hit so uh glad we could finally make it happen glad we could travel during a time when cases are low. I did miss my TSA pre-check on the way there. Even though we got to the airport and we were going through security at like 6.30 in the morning, there was like a 25 minute line at Tampa. There was just so many people flying out because of spring break. That wasn't fun. I'm glad I have my TSA pre-check interview coming up in a couple weeks so I can get that back. The way back was fine, but the way there, no. What? Foster wanted to talk to you guys. I'll let you out of my office. They're locked in my office right now because Ash got kicked out. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, I'll let you out of my office. But it's not time for what you want yet. It's not dinner time yet. Did you just go for his ankle? Okay, well, I'm gonna let the rowdy boys out of my office. Let them wrestle elsewhere. But Ash got kicked out because he kept barking at things out the window, so. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting close to the witching hour. It is, it is 4.51. So it is very close. But I've still been giving them dinner late. So don't, don't ask me how Foster knows what time it is now. Again, how he knows it's almost 5 o'clock. I don't know. He's, he's crazy dog. He's a crazy dog. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> okay, so the dogs are having their dinner and I'm about to start cooking our dinner. So tonight we're having chicken and butternut squash hash from Green Chef. And there is dinner, our chicken and our hash. He looks good. Look at this dog right now. He literally brought the toy in. He literally carries it around just so he has a pillow with him at all times. I think that's why he likes those toys. He literally just carries it around to have a built-in pillow wherever he goes. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Did you bring that gator specifically as a pillow? Yes, yeah, silly goose. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's the witching hour. It's after five o'clock, but don't tell Foster that. I mean, he already knows. My plan is not really working that well. <laughs> he knows. Oh, you're, you're all ridiculous. Oh gosh. You got the donut? <laughs> Play. Silly boys. Silly boys. So guys, it is Thursday evening. I have just finished work for the day. Dogs are ready for their dinner. It's been a nice rainy, dreary day today, and we're gonna get a few very nice spring days, like low 70s days, which 
very happy for. I'm liking these spring showers, bringing cooler weather for at least a few days. I think we're gonna take advantage of that cooler weather and possibly go try to ride Iron Gwazi this weekend. So Saturday's supposed to be beautiful. I would normally not try to go to a theme park on a Saturday in March <laughs> when, during spring break, but that is when Brittany can go to theme parks. So we might be waiting a very long time to ride Iron Gwazi, but hopefully it is just as good as it looks and it will be worth the wait. So obviously I'll take you guys along for the adventure if we go, but it's looking like nice weather for Iron Gwazi. All right, so tonight we are gonna have this noodleless beef lasagna skillet. There it is out of the oven. It's looking good. Oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful day today. Look how blue that sky is. All the plants are so bright green. Everything's in bloom. This tree is getting all new leaves and all the flowers on it as it's blooming. And it's like 72 degrees and glorious out today. <laughs> Foster went straight for the plop. Just let them out. And he's like, yeah, this is great. Nap time in the sun. What are you doing? You're not gonna come out? You're just gonna sit on the porch? Come on, everybody else is outside. Come on. He's like, I don't wanna leave my toys. He makes no sense. You are gonna love it once you get out here. It's so nice out. Dean wasn't gonna waste any time. No, no. <laughs> it's perfect out, Mom. I love it. Oh, oh, he started to. There we go. I just had to sit down first, apparently. <laughs> Blue Angels are practicing. That's so cool. It's just, it's just some actual birds. <laughs> Those weren't birds. Really? They didn't make any noise though. Ah, that's so cool. All right, well, I I think they're done. They're practicing. There's an air show tomorrow. But I haven't heard anything for a bit, so I think they might be done. Well, that was super fun. We just got to see the Blue Angels. <laughs> was not expecting that today, but I knew they were around because there's an air show happening in Tampa. I looked it up. I thought it was in St. Pete, but it's actually at Tampa. So the Blue Angels have been practicing the past two days. Couldn't see them at all yesterday because it was so rainy and gloomy. Could not see them. But today we started hearing them and I was like, well, I'm gonna go outside and see if I can see them. Like they might be too far away, but it's worth a shot. And sure enough, we got to watch pretty much the show from the backyard. Some of those clouds were getting in the way, but we could see them here and there. And some of their maneuvers, they're just flying too low. So we couldn't see past the houses in the area, but it was fun to watch them. We stood outside for probably 20 minutes watching as much as we could. It was really fun. And the bonuses, they're doing their show tomorrow and Sunday at 3 p.m. So I have plans tomorrow. I'm not sure if Mike's joining me yet. More about that in a second. But Sunday, maybe we can see the show again from the backyard. So. Pretty, pretty cool. I have seen the Blue Angels before. I'll link to a video where Mike and I went to see the Blue Angels and a bunch of other flight demonstrations at the Texas or the Houston Air Show. We went, I think the first year I was living in Houston, we went to the Houston Air Show and it was a ton of fun and we got to see the Blue Angels up close. So I'll link that video up above and down below so you guys can check out that one. It was a really fun one, but even better to see it from your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> so for tomorrow, I currently have tentative plans to go try to ride Iron Gwazi. I think I may have already mentioned that in this video. I can't remember. The weather looks like it's going to be absolutely perfect tomorrow, so we're going to try to go do Iron Gwazi. I just don't know if Mike's coming yet or not. Obviously, he's invited. We've invited Kyle. It's going to be me, Brittany, and Jordan for sure. And then Kyle is still an iffy and Mike is still an iffy. Mike is just kind of at the point where we just traveled last weekend, so he kind of feels like he might need a day to just veg out and play video games and not go out of the house. <laughs> so 
So I cannot blame him because then Sunday he'll have hockey and stuff. So he won't have like a full day to just veg out. So I understand that. I definitely need veg out days, especially when we travel. But this is the Saturday that Brittany has available because then our schedules are going to go wonky for a while. So if Mike doesn't go with us, then he gets to watch the Blue Angels from the backyard again tomorrow. And then I'm going to stream. We're going to do an Animal Crossing stream tonight and then chill before Bush Gardens tomorrow. It's almost time to go in and do my stream. But I'm out with the pups, letting them have some last evening time before the sunset. Are you coming in? You're done? Got a really pretty sunset happening over there. Colby loves his porch hangs, don't ya? Yeah, he's a good boy. He loves being on the porch. He is definitely more of an outdoor dog than our other two. Our other two like it in spurts. This dog would be outside all the time if we let him. He loves just hearing everything and smelling everything and getting to experience it all. I should add the caveat, unless it's raining and unless it's super hot but it's lovely out tonight, so he's all about it. All right, well, the stream was super fun tonight. Thanks for everyone stopping by and hanging out. But it is now 11 o'clock, and I've got sleepy puppers, and I need to go ahead and start getting ready, not for bed, because I'm gonna hang out a little bit, probably read a little bit, but then go to bed, because I'm gonna wake up early to go to Bush Gardens tomorrow to try to get there before they open to try to be some of the first people in line for Iron Gwazi so we're not waiting too long, hopefully. So I do need to go to bed earlier than I normally would on a Friday. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off the vlog for this week, but I will see you guys again next week.